the walrus and I were discussing what to talk to you about for the children's homily today. And I told the walrus that the gospel reading from John's gospel today is the story of Jesus driving the money changers out of the temple. And the walrus groaned. You know, walruses groan a lot. The walrus groaned when, I, groaned when I told him that. He said, go on, tell me more. And I said, well, you know the story of Jesus driving the money changers of the temple. Jesus is upset that the temple has become a marketplace, he says, when it's supposed to be a house of prayer for all people. And so Jesus drives all of the money changers out and all the animals that were being sold for sacrifice he drives out of the temple and there's chaos and there's upset and there's a little bit there's noise and there's anxiety and it's a bit of a crazy day and the walrus said yeah he said i i i don't i don't want to hear that story very much today because there's enough upset and chaos and craziness in the world and enough people upset and we don't need to see anybody else upset right now and does jesus really want to upset us right now said the walrus to me and i said no i don't think that jesus wants to upset us but i think he wants to pay us to pay attention to the things that are important and the walrus said right and what's important and i said well i guess what's important is that Jesus said that the temple, that the house of God should be a house of prayer for all people. The one was said, right. And that's a message of peace, isn't it? And I said, yeah, that is a message of peace, walrus. I got to give you credit for that. The walrus said, have you been reading the papers? I said, yeah, I read the papers. You know that, walrus. He said, then you know that the Pope has been traveling in Iraq. I said, I know that, walrus. But it's, he's not our pope. I said, he's the head of the Roman Catholic Church. And the walrus said, so what? He said, do you know what the pope has been doing? I said, well, I, he's been talking about the need to protect Christians who have been driven out of the Middle East and who have been persecuted in the Middle East. He said, that's right. And what else has he been talking about? I said, well, I guess he's been talking about peace between Christians and Muslims. The walrus said, that's right. And the walrus said, do you hear any thing in common with what Jesus was teaching even when he was upset and driving the money changers out of the temple? I said, you mean when Jesus says, my house shall be a house of prayer for all people? The walrus said, that's right, all people from any religion. There's room for all people in God's house, the walrus said. I said, well, we're walrus, that's easy for you to say, you're a walrus. He said, that's right. He said, but look who else is saying it. The Pope is saying it. And the Pope is doing it because he wants people to be at peace with one another, not at war with one another. I said, that's right. That's a pretty good message. The walrus said, you bet that's a good message. And when you connect that message to the message that God's house is a house of prayer for all people, that's a whole lot of peace we could be working for. And I said, well, then it's a good thing Pope Francis is working for peace, isn't it? The walrus said, you bet it's a good thing Pope Francis is working for peace. We should pray for him. And I said, okay, let's pray for Pope Francis. So you and me, walrus, let us pray. Let us pray for Pope Francis and everyone who works for peace. Let us pray for all people who try to make God's house a house of prayer for all people. Let us pray for all our brothers and sisters in this world, no matter what religion they belong to, but just because they're brothers and sisters, fellow human beings made in God's image and likeness. Let us learn to respect one another, even when we come from different places and different religions. And let us follow Francis's example and do everything we can to work for peace. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.